Hey guys, what's going on? Um, today we're going to be taking a look at a topic that I have been thinking about a lot recently. Today an opportunity presented itself to me to make this video, so I thought I would just go ahead and do it. That opportunity, by the way, was me losing my bag with my running shoes in it. I was at school, I was in the computer lab doing some work, I had my backpack with my shoes in it, and then I had my regular backpack. I had to get somewhere, left my backpack with my shoes in it there, went on with my day, and then a couple hours later I was like, oh my god, I left my shoes in the computer lab. Went all the way back there to get it, but obviously they weren't there, don't know where my bag is. Um, if you go to Sac State, you see somebody wearing a bag that says Sac State Track and Field, it says good on the back, and it's not me, um, let me know. Anyways, the topic we're going to be covering today has to do with old models of shoes. More specifically, is it safe to train in old models of shoes? Not necessarily used shoes, but older models. Older, new shoes. Old, new shoes, if that makes sense. What I did was, uh, after my shoes got stolen or found, I had to get some other shoes because I needed some to run it. So, you know, with money being tight in the holiday season, I didn't want to spend a lot. I drove down to my neighborhood Nike outlet store and bought a pair of these. These are the Nike Pegasus 33. They're the older model of the Nike Pegasus, not the most recent one at least. And I've worn them before. I know I like them. So, plus they were like half off, so that definitely swayed my decision. So I'm not really going to go into the technical aspects of this shoe. Um, maybe I'll do that another time, but I don't really see the need for it, especially since it is an old shoe. I don't think anyone wants to hear about that. If you do, let me know, and I maybe I will do it, but as far as I know, nobody cares about this. So, the question, is it safe or is it worth it for you to train in old model shoes? Now this may seem like a weird question to many of you viewers out there. Why would an older model of shoes be unsafe to train in? Or why would it not be worth it to train in it? It's half off. Well the reason for that is that rumor has it that running shoes nowadays can degrade even when they're just sitting on the shelf. They don't need to be um, in the sun or they don't need to be worn. Um, apparently the foam can just break down and deteriorate on its own. Now that is problematic, because let's say you really like the Pegasus 33s. You want to keep buying the Pegasus 33s. But, as time goes by, the Pegasus 33 is fading away. That's not good. And let's say you have a shoe that the material has deteriorated. It's not going to carry you as far, and, and think of all the possibilities that it's opening. I, I, I'd assume injury risk would be the biggest one. Now, there's kind of a split decision on this, as far as uh, whether this is true information or not. Some people will tell you that, yeah, these can degrade and deteriorate in as little as six months. Doesn't matter if it's brand new or not. Right off the factory line, the assembly line, you're, as soon as you're born, you're dying. Now, others will say, nah, that'll last you years and years. Go ahead, stockpile them. You like a shoe? Buy a ton of them. Where, put them on your, uh, put them on your shelf. And then you'll have the folks who say, Oh, no, no, the shoe companies just tell you that, so you'll buy more shoes. Yeah, it's all a conspiracy. Now, I don't particularly believe the last one, but I think there is agreement that the shoes do deteriorate on their own after a certain time. Now, what that time is, we don't really know. Now, I found this article from Runner's World from way back in 2003, so things could be vastly different now, but that's about the most recent one I could find. The person asking the question is saying that they read that the shoes can deteriorate in the box after around six months. Now, the person answering this, what he responds with is that while most of the midsole cushioning like the uh, Nike Air, the Asics Gel, etc., are really durable, the EVA foam that 
all the running shoes are using nowadays, which you can still see here, is not as durable. Now he claims that these will store well in a cool and dry environment and have little to no deterioration over a couple of years. Now that's not that bad, and considering you're running regularly, you're going to run through the shoe before it uh, just expires on its own, you know? Now I tend to be thrifty as a running consumer, and like many runners, I am a bit superstitious. So if I find a shoe that works for me, I'm going to want to stick with it. And I, in the past, have bought multiple pairs of shoes, and I've never really run into any problems. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out for a spin tomorrow morning. I'll let you know what I think. Now, obviously, take my opinion with a grain of salt. Everybody feels things differently. But I'm going to go running them. I'll tell you whether I think they feel like a new shoe or not, or if they feel like they've degraded on the shelf. Because these have probably been sitting on the shelf for at least a year now. But to conclude with this portion of the video, if what this guy from Runner's World is saying is true, then you really have nothing to worry about when you're buying these shoes, as long as it's a shoe that is a trusted, high-quality one. Look at the reviews for stuff, go try them on, obviously, and you should be good. One thing I would be cautious about would be buying from eBay. Now, usually it doesn't happen, and I'd be willing to bet that it happens even less for running shoes, but every once in a while you can buy fake shoes on eBay. There are times that I've bought shoes on eBay, and I got them and I thought, you know what, these might be fake. These don't feel anything like the last pair that I had of these same shoes. So just use caution when you're buying shoes like that, but otherwise you'll probably be okay. So I went for a run with it, felt pretty good, didn't really notice any glaring problems with it. Uh, one thing I was worried about is that it wouldn't have any pop to it, you know, because that's essentially what's happening when the material is degraded, you don't have that pop anymore. There's no pop. There's no pop to it. You know, they felt like a new pair of shoes. So even though this is purely anecdotal, I think more or less you're probably gonna be fine wearing a shoe that's an older model. As long as it's not a model that's been out for years and years. But something like the Pegasus 33, which is what I'm wearing, that's only been um, that's only been an old model for a couple years, I think you're going to be just fine. So I think that's going to conclude the video. Go ahead and tell me what your thoughts are on it. Would you run in a shoe that's an older model? Or would you rather run in a shoe that's the newer model? Is that tiny risk worth what you save on the price? Let me know what you think. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.